All right, so I'm in Cabo San Lucas, Mexico, staying at an all-inclusive resort, and I always have such a hard time packing for this type of vacation. However, I think I finally packed everything I need and nothing I don't in my carry-on bag. So in this video, I'm gonna show you everything to pack for Cabo, Mexico, or really any all-inclusive resort that you're staying at. Something I always bring with me is a pair of travel slippers. I love getting a thin pair of slippers that have a little bit of a rubbery sole because I feel like every resort that I stay in, the rooms are always tile. They're super cold on the feet, so a pair of travel slippers is always awesome, especially because like you're wearing your shoes all day, you come back to your room, you can put on a pair of comfy slippers and be ready to go for tomorrow. Another one of my packing hacks is to bring a sunscreen stick. Because since I only fly carry-on, I have a limited number of liquids that I can bring. So this way I can bring sunscreen with me and it doesn't count as a liquid. Another must-have item for Mexico is some anti-chafing balm. Trust me on this one. If you know, you know, but like it gets hot here. Things get sweaty, things rub together. This stuff has been a lifesaver. I'm dead serious. You put this on in the morning, it stays on after your shower, in the pool, when you're sweating all day through sunscreen. This stuff is perfect. Something I didn't think about until after staying at a few different all-inclusive resorts was that usually I get pretty sunburnt after like the first or second day and then the next day I still want to hit the pool but my shoulders are all red so what I do is I bring a rash guard with me. Something like this is super cheap to get on Amazon. I think this one was like 20 bucks and it's actually got like UV ray protection in it so you can still hang out in the pool even if you have like sunburnt shoulders no big deal and also if you end up going surfing or something like that this thing's gonna save you. They do have these in the stores at the all-inclusive resorts but they're gonna be at least 50 or 60 bucks, even more sometimes. So I always bring a cheap one with me, no more sunburnt shoulders. So this is probably something you wouldn't think of bringing to an all-inclusive resort, but I promise you it is so much fun. I got this really cool floaty off of Amazon and you can hang out in the pool, enjoy your day, sipping drinks, floating around and this thing packs up super flat. Like this is like a pair of shorts. So it folds up super easy. There's only two pillows on either side, so it's super easy to blow up. It deflates really easily. And you can just hang out in the pool, enjoy your drinks, float around, and everybody will be like, oh my God, I wish I brought one of those with me. So these things are really awesome. Another thing I like to bring with me when I'm staying at an all-inclusive resort is towel clips. So you go down to the pool, you pick a lounger and you just clip these on the back. It keeps your towel in place and it also makes it super easy to find your spot when you're coming back to the pool after lunch or something like that. These are like five bucks, they're small. I got the flamingo ones, but you can also get ones that are like flip-flops, margaritas, parrots, pineapples. They're really fun to have. All right, since I only fly carry-on, I really only bring a couple of purses with me when I'm staying at the all-inclusive. So the first one I bring is a cute little fanny pack. I love this one that I have. This is actually the Lululemon belt bag, but you can also find similar ones on Amazon for a little bit cheaper but this is so great to come down to the pool. I can fit my phone, my room key, some sunscreen, some lip chap, anything else small. It's not too obnoxious. You can wear it all day. You can like throw it under your towel. It's the perfect size. This thing is really good. I think so many people have these already. So if you don't have one, you should probably get one. <laughs> They're so convenient. 
So I love this rattan purse that I got. I just think it's like such a Mexico vibe. It's super cute. It goes with any outfit. It's hard shell, so like it's not gonna get squished in your carry-on or this bag is super heavy duty. It's super cute. It can fit a lot of things in it. So this is my purse for going to dinner and going to town. It's super adorable. I actually got this on Amazon, surprisingly. You can find some really cute stuff. So I love, love this bag. I wish I found it like two years ago. And of course, a couple of beach cover-ups are always lightweight, easy to pack. I usually bring two or three beach cover-ups with me. Sometimes shorts and denim shorts are just too hot to wear. So bring a couple of light colored beach cover-ups. They look super cute over top of a bathing suit. You can wear them anywhere in the resort. I always bring a couple of my favorites. I love this dress because it's got pockets. Always need pockets, right girls? Most all-inclusive resorts have lovely restaurants for dinner in which you'll want to get a little dressed up for. If you're going to be at the resort for a week, I recommend bringing at least four different evening outfits or dresses. If you have the room, you could bring a different one for each night, but since I only travel carry-on, I don't mind being an outfit repeater. Additionally, most even have a dress code for evening dinner service. And for men, dinner dress code usually means a collared shirt, long pants or dress shorts, and closed-toed shoes. Another thing I always pack for Mexico is a hat. Something like this, something that's not too big, you can wear it on the plane and it's not gonna take up a whole lot of space. I can fit this under the seat and it doesn't get squished. And I don't like to spend a whole lot of money on it because like you might get sunscreen on it, it might get covered in sand, it might get wet. You're gonna be wearing it in the pool. This one I got off of Amazon, I think it was $21 because if you wait to buy a hat at the resort, it's going to cost you at least triple the price. So my friend who's traveling with us this week, she didn't bring a hat. We went to the little store here at the resort. It was $65. So I recommend just bringing one with you. And for guys, my husband brings two types of hats with him to Mexico. This style of bucket hat is quite popular right now and they come in all kinds of fun patterns. We actually saw several other guys wearing them in the pool on this last trip. He likes it because it's small and soft and can fold down into nothing. When it's really hot out and he needs a little more sun protection, he wears this style of sun hat. It's got a little wider of a brim and he loves it because the sides are mesh, so it's ultra breathable. The most underrated thing you can pack for your Mexico resort vacation is a game or a deck of cards. Most resorts have gorgeous lobbies and lounge areas with sweeping views and comfy seating. So if you're looking for something to do during happy hour or after you're done at the pool for the day but not quite ready for dinner, have a drink while you play a game. I usually bring this dominoes game where you can play Mexican trains or chicken foot. Each of these games can be played with two to eight players. They're quick to learn, fast paced, competitive, and keeps everyone engaged. And I did make a previous video about what to pack for an all-inclusive vacation. So I'll leave a link here because in that one, I did mention a few items that I didn't mention in this video. Definitely check that out next. I hope this video helped you pack for Mexico. I've left links for everything in this list below. I also have a blog post where I wrote down everything. Just if you need like something written out for you, you can refer to the blog post, copy, paste, make your list. That might make your life a little bit easier, but I hope you enjoyed the video and we'll see you in the next one.